Hey, good morning, FCF. We're starting once again in our journey through the book of 1 Peter, and it's going to take a total of 12 weeks. We're in week uh, four, three, three. This is our third week, week three. And I'm just going to pick up reading where I left off. Now, if you've missed the previous ones, you can go on YouTube and you can um, catch up in that way. But I'm in chapter 1, verse 18. It says, For you know that it was not with perishable things, such as silver or, or gold, that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Through him you believe in God, that's that word, believe, trust in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him, and so your faith slash your trust and hope are in God. There's so much here, um, the challenge is going to be to get it all in. Let's start at verse 18. It says, you know that you were not redeemed <coughs> with perishable things from your empty way of life. The word redeemed, it was used, you know, in biblical times of people that would go like to, let's say, the slave market and put down a price to buy slaves. The slaves would be freed for a price. But this is saying that it was nothing less than the full revelation of God in Christ and, and his singular sinless life and his sacrificial sufferings is what it took to break humans free, me, you, every human that, that does so, to break us free from our, our slavery, our, our willing slavery towards sin. So when it says redeemed there, we, we, we can't take a wooden interpretation that we have to look at it in terms of spiritual relational terms. I once did not trust God, I was running from God instead of toward God. Now when I see God in Christ, and particularly His sacrifice, His shed blood, well that causes me to know that no, even though He's all-powerful, He's trustworthy, I can run toward Him. So it was His sacrifice, His blood that redeemed me or won me back, draw me back uh, from my empty hand, my empty way of life handed down to me from my forefathers. Then verse 19, the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. The sacrifice of Christ was just the culmination of all those, those thousands and maybe even hundreds of thousands of animal sacrifices that the Israelites had been making up to this time. They, those, those lambs, all of them, all were just pointing to what ultimately God was going to do in Christ. It goes on to say in verse 20, He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. So, here we go back to before the creation of the world, before sin ever entered, God had already knew that if He created beings in His own image, which was the greatest gift that He could make, give us mind, reason, emotions, will, uh, you know, the ability to think and reason and so forth, that we would misuse these powers and bring evil into existence and bring great pain to God Himself and to the others um, that stay loyal to Him in the universe. But he already had a plan. He knew what it would take to break the power of sin, to awaken people, to turn people back to God himself in trust and away from uh, ways that are contrary to his way, which is what we call sin. He knew that it would take him revealing himself in a sacrificial way in Christ. So Christ was already planned in his sacrifice on the cross before any human being was ever created. And then in verse 21, through him, meaning Christ, you believe in God, or trust in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him. And so your faith, your slash trust, faith, trust, and hope are in God. And this is simply saying that God has now finally fully revealed himself, his full character, not just his almighty power, but his sacrificial love in Christ. God literally made himself smaller so that he could make himself more visible and known to the rest of the universe, and he accomplished all this in Christ. Okay, we had to pack a lot in, and there's so much more teaching I could do on that, but we'll, we'll pause there for today, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.